Good All right, man. It don't look like Anthony Joshua is going to allow Usyk and um and Tyson Fury to fight. So let's talk about it. Um, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. All my social media links in the description. Um, shout out the heavyweight boxing playlist. Um, yeah, so. So, um, so he said he would admit he he would consider step aside money, and you know, as of right now, he has not picked a trainer. Okay, he's not picked a coach. Whatever they prefer to be called, he has not picked one. Why is that very important? And bear with me, I'm still under the weather. Under the COVID weather, my brother. But um, um, that is important because they want to return by March and April. Now, Eddie Hearn can push that date back to accommodate um, Anthony Joshua Usyk. But I'm pretty sure, like in that Wilder contract, there was a clause that says if the rematch doesn't happen by a certain amount of time, you know, Usyk is navigating. AJ is suffer from an injury, or the pandemic is hurting them at this point. So you think you got you know for why right now you thirty one days, sixty two days. When I say about eighty ninety about ninety days, we do at the end. Of the, so he roughly about one hundred and sixty. What is what is it? He roughly about, oh, let's just do months, one, two, three, four, about five months out, you know, but you're talking about learning the craft from somebody different, you know, especially if you're talking about the front runner, last time I heard a few weeks ago was Eddie Renasso. And even if it's staying with Rob McCracken, or that's going with, uh, what's the other dude's name? My boy, Ronnie Shields. You haven't made a decision. So, or you haven't made it public. But if AJ in the United States, we gonna know. So, if we gonna perfect our craft on anybody, it's gonna take time. It's gonna take more than five months. Or if it was a bad night, then we just stick with Rob McCracken. Give me one second. All right, we just stick with Rob McCracken. And even we stick with Rob McCracken, what was the disconnect? You went out there trying to box. You spoke that into existence. You can't outbox nobody, bro. You know, you not built the box. Now, when you fought Dillian White, you was built the box. You didn't carry stamina. You carry weight. You had, you know, then you had fluidity in your body. You're too big. You built to destroy. You a tank. That's what Tyson Fury had to figure out. Well, you know what? I'm bigger than 98, 99 percentile of all heavyweights. I'm in the first percentile of all heavyweights as far as size, height, weight, length, reach, whatever you want to call it. And Sugar Hill said, man, you big as shit, man. Go out there and, and use, your, use your physical gifts instead of using it when you get dropped. Use it in spurts. Use it for a full 36 minutes. And if it's any time that it's screen for Anthony Joshua to use his physical tools and being bigger, stronger, and, and, and not trying to box it was Alexander Usyk. But everybody's just talking about like AJ gonna pick it up. Whoever we go to, he's gonna pick it up. It's a lot wrong. You know, his 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 chin is over his over his oh, all his weight is on his front foot, his chin is over his front foot and knee. He hunches over, his front leg is stiff. And that ain't even the biggest thing, his confidence, bro. Because he he feels he's self-conscious about not being bigger in some fights. He feel like the weight gives him a, a, a subconscious advantage, and it don't. And they gotta they probably gotta beg him to drop weight. 
and be leaner. If you look at the tape, he was better leaner. Now, is that he feel that the weight gives him a, 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 a able a chin advantage or able to absorb punishment advantage? Maybe. But I see bodybuilders all the time that think that matter in the street fight, and it don't. Now, you know, if you get past the first three or four or five minutes of tussling, then cool, but most street fights end within the third, three minute mark. And I'm being generous saying the three minute mark. Most street fights end within the three minute mark, bro. So, you know, if you make it to the four or five minute mark, then yo, yo, conditioning kick in. But, you know, right now, if you really feel that. He, he need another trainer, and he need to learn, but step aside. It says Anthony Joshua admits for the first time that he would consider step aside money to clear away for Tyson Fury Usyk to meet an undisputed heavyweight fight. He said, I think people know not to approach me with that rubber. Joshua told I felt he would ask, has he been approached to put an offer to step aside? That's BS. It may have to come it, it may have to come to my team, but they they know not to do not to bring that to me. He said, let's be real. It's not about the money. It's about the respect. What I want, uh, can I see this? Let me zoom in one more. He says, let's be real. It's not about the money. It's about the respect. Quote, continues. What I want out of this game is the number one is respect. You don't have to like me, but you have to, you will respect me. Second thing, go down as a throwback. Fire somebody who's willing to fight the best in their division so people know me as a true fighter. I still can't see. Uh, there we go. I'm pretty sure we can see it now. So he says, uh, quote, step aside in terms of, I don't know if it goes in line with what I morally stand for, but let me be real. I want to be known as one of those smart businessmen as well. Quote, I used to watch Tyson, Holyfield, Bowl. We all know the stories in the NFL players, basketball players. They make bad decisions. I want to, I want to make sure I make smart moves. When it comes to this business, if the money is right, you have to look at it. You have to look at it. But I respect, but respect to me is a lot more valuable than money. Respect first, what I know for when I lead a division, then being the smartest businessman in my career, the step aside thing, uh, it may not go with what I stand for in terms of bringing respect to respect, finding the best, but it may make sense business wise. So, yeah, he thinking about it and, um, you got to weigh all options, bro. You know, you uh, Johnny Nelson, I don't think he'll take step aside money. That's done the third. I mean, it may be the smart thing to do. And also, not even just take the money equation out of it. If you get a new trainer, you need to work on some things. It allows for a tune-up or two or three um, with these dudes fighting once or twice a year. And it allows you to hone your skills. I mean, you go on a tour in China or or uh, or, or Australia and fight the best heavyweights and fight five, seven, ten times in four or five months. But no, other guys like Ali do things like that. So, however, you need to hone your skills, you know. And then also, it just makes it, you know, it continues to preserve, you know, it makes the Fury fight as big as possible. It does. It makes the Fury. It continues to make the Fury fight. The biggest fight in British history. Just because you lost to Usyk, it does take some steam away. But you lose twice, then you know, still may be the biggest fight in British history. But it doesn't have that. The way you can build your name up, tuning up, people don't really forget about that because they really like you. It ain't like you was knocked out. So, like I said before, it may be the smart move. But you know, in his mind, he still had to go back and beat Usyk for his respect. Or, you know, even if Usyk, you know, was to lose to Fury, he still got to go back and, you know. But if he beat Fury, then, you know, it doesn't matter. That, you know, you and Fury are still in the same place you is. You know, maybe Usyk versus Joshua, Usyk versus Fury 2 becomes the biggest British fight in history. So, however you look at it, somebody got to handle their business with Usyk between Fury and, 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 and Usyk. And then, you know, obviously Fury can lose to Dylan White. Far fetched, but we seen you know we seen more far fetched shit happen in boxing come true. So, I mean, honestly, man, I think more than the money, you know, he got to be honest. Skill set wise, what do I need to do different? Do I need to learn technically wise, or do I need to hit the reset button and, and take a step? What I look, what I did, and I can, 
I have the tools and I know what I need to do to go in there and it's crushing. Like one minute he talking about a new trainer, the next minute he said you just need to go in there and go into savage mode and not try to box him. Which one is it? So when he make his mind up about what's going on mentally as far as the game plan, then we see. But honestly, man, um, it don't matter. Usyk, Usyk, Will Fury. I mean, you still gotta see. I mean, however it happened, Usyk lose to Fury, Will Fury. You still gotta see him. You know, we see some guys just, you know, they can't beat a guy one time. They just move on and still going to do great things. So, honestly, man, depending what the money looking like, but you can't ask. You know, you can't have you and Eddie Hearn talking about. You know, Wilder should step aside. This, this, that, and third, and then you know you don't you don't want to be coherent. You know, you don't want to live by the same code. And we being honest, um, how I feel, man, um, go ahead and fight Usyk if I'm AJ. I go ahead and fight him. Um, and, you know, and then, you know, the Fury fight Dillian White. And then, you know, either way in 2022, if everybody healthy, we should, you know, we should get the best, you know, one of the best heavyweight fights, you know, in our era, in this era. And we should get the best British fight if it's with Usyk. Fury, AJ Usyk, however it goes. So, um, oh yeah, I forgot I had another video to do, man, about another heavyweight fight that I thought I was thinking about this because I seen it on World Boxing News, but apparently has some validity to it, so it to come later. But hey, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, on my social media links, description, Twitter's the fastest way, and Facebook and Instagram. If you have a business question, call, response, your video request, hit me up. On my social media subscription, I'll make a financial donation, cash app, CJ Glit313, Venmo, CJ Glit313, PayPal link description. Um, I'm rolling to buy me on screen, all information too. But other than that, man, I appreciate the love and support. Check the Headway Box playlist out. Subscribe, share, comment, peace.